Welcome to the Parent Advocacy Resource Team for parents of children of all ages and stages. I'm Irene Guge, founder of Loving Less and Sleep Consulting and Postpartum Doula Solutions, and your host here at Parent Advocacy Resource Team, also known as PART, where we come alongside helping parents navigate the journey of being a family through education, advocacy, empowerment, and connection. So I think as we start talking about all things parenting, sometimes there's things we might do or things we might say that we maybe thought we would never say. Our guest today, Nancy, she had shared the statement, I'm the mom, that's why. I have to say guilty. I have said that one too out of frustration and coming to a place where I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. But before we dive into that comment a little bit more, I want to go ahead and introduce Nancy Lansdowne, who is the owner of Insider's View Child Care Consulting, which was developed to help parents and caregivers navigate the process of selecting a quality child care setting. Nancy is a certified education expert in the field of care for children from age birth through age five. She has dedicated her career to helping children and the families and is excited to bring this much needed service, not only here to our community in the Triangle, but nationwide. So Nancy, it's a pleasure having you here. And I can tell you, I have never heard about this type of service where you're like a facilitator, a coach navigating the childcare system. Thank you, Irene. It's a pleasure to be here today and I appreciate your time. Uh, yes, actually it, it is a new service that I'm really excited to be able to offer not only our community, but anyone that is sir, that is looking for childcare for their family. Um, what I've found in my career is that we might necessarily not know the insider's view of what a childcare is and what happens during the day. So that's what I'm here for, to provide that service to parents, to be able to give them a closer look into where their children are spending their day. That is awesome. Now, before we keep going, I want to circle back to the things you never thought you would say as a parent. Yes. <laughs> you mentioned and said, I'm the mom. That's why. Tell me about that. So, um, and I, and I have to admit that I'm sure I've said that more than once. One, uh, one of my fond memories of my mother was actually her making that same statement to me. Um, and I never thought I'd repeat that statement because as a child and as a teen, I, I really disliked the statement a lot. Um, but here I am and here I was using those very same exact words. I look at it now that I have a grown son, that those words actually are very beneficial because sometimes it is, I'm the mom, that's why that maybe there isn't a lot of reason of why you're saying no to your child because a one-year-old, a two-year-old and onward might not be able to develop all those reasons and be able to understand them. So sometimes we are the mom and that's why. Yeah, that's a great perspective. Sometimes that is a great limit to set. I know for me, sometimes I would say that out of frustration, like I would feel stuck. Like I was like, because I said so. <laughs> And exactly. realize where that was coming from. Right. And, and I think that's really, that's really evident. I think most people don't know what we don't know. And that includes parents. We're not giving a book of directions of how to raise our child. So it's okay to not know. Yeah. But there are services out there that can help you at least decide what's best for you and your family. Yeah. That's interesting that you were talking a little bit about like that insider's view of childcare. So tell me what that might look like for a family that's working with you. Do you actually go to the center? Do you help them figure out and sort out what kind of childcare they need? I can absolutely do that. I can go to the center within a 50 mile radius of here in the triangle, and I can follow you along during your tour. You can zoom me in and we can follow along during your tour. And I, I'll be able to critique that a little bit for you when you're done and explain to you some of the red flags that I might see, or actually some of the green flags of why it might be a perfect fit for you and your family. So I can do that, or we can use the option of having a phone call or a Zoom meeting where I will be able to give you all the tools that you need to make a good concrete decision for you and your child. 
Um, one of the one of the things that I absolutely love to do is to find out what it is that you need, because not all childcare is for all families. So we just need to determine where your goals are for your child and how we want to get there. And I come in with being able to provide you some of those tools to help you with that decision. Now, how did you get into this? Like, how did you figure out? Actually, honestly, I got into it with years of frustration in the classroom. When I've mm -hmm. when I was a teacher for 25 plus years in the classroom, I've had thousands and thousands of families come in and tour the facility while we were teaching. And what I found ironic was not one family ever asked me, the teacher, a question. Mm, it was always asked to the director and not to the teacher. So I just feel that there was some pain involved with that because if I were turning my child over to a complete stranger, I'd want to know everything about that teacher. I'd want to know what their philosophy is, what their educational background is, how long they've been at that facility. And those are just a few of the small questions that we want to be able to dive into to be able to have the parent advocate for their child since their child cannot advocate for themselves at this point. Yeah, that's very interesting. I think it's interesting point. Like I worked in a daycare center and oftentimes I never really knew anything until the child was just showing up. Right. And then there you have it. And so I never really got to know the parents until that moment. So it sounds like you're trying to circumvent that process a little bit to really help advocate for the child and for the family, really building that partnership. Absolutely. One of, one of the tips I will give you today is, is that when you're doing the tour, you want to set up a meeting with the teacher before you bring your child to that child care center. That's and important. that's just one very small tip of everything else that I can provide to give you so that you have the questions to be able to advocate for your child. Yeah, that's a great tip. And I know for me as a teacher, that was something that I wanted, but sometimes that's not necessarily provided. Exactly. Um, so that's but a really- if you ask for it, you might receive it. That's right. Ask and you shall receive. That's Absolutely. a great point. And so, um, Nancy, what about, what would you say to a parent? Like, cause childcare centers have ratings, um, and they tell us, you know, we're a five star, we're this many stars or whatnot. Like what parents already have all their answers or questions answered at that point? I would want to be able to share with the parent that not all stars are created equal first and foremost. <laughs> So I want to be able to give them the information that they need of how we earn stars as a child care center and what that actually means to them and what they should be delivering as a child care center and what their, how their child should benefit from that. So I want to connect the stars with the quality of care and what that means for your child. Yeah, that's really great. I, I will share that I did an in-home daycare and I was not licensed because of some of the rules and regulations. And so sometimes that can be kind of misunderstood for Absolutely. some parents. So it sounds like you really kind of take them through and understand like the whole process and the system and navigating those questions that they might right. not even know they have. Exactly. We don't, again, going back to that, we don't know what we don't know until we know it. So I'm here. You're not supposed to know these answers. That's my job. And that's what I want to be able to share with our, my families that I work with is that, you know, here's what's presented. Here's what you need to look for. Here's what you need to ask. And here's what you need to follow through with. Um, I think that that's totally critical because then it can be a great time for your child and your child will, you know, thrive in that situation rather than you having some issues. So I'm here to hopefully give you a proactive approach into picking out quality care. Great. So Nancy, um, you've talked about the child care centers, but you do you talk about other options with parents. Absolutely. Because just as a restaurant, you know, there's, we, we have fast food and then we have exquisite dining. So I'm here to say that what needs to happen is your family needs to have a great fit for your family. Not everything is one size fits all. So we're going to talk about all options as far as nannying versus a big giant, say franchise type center versus an in-home care center. I've worked, I've actually owned a few different type of centers um, so that I can give you that benefit as well as being able to just try to figure out what's the best option for your children and your family. 
So Nancy, a question that's coming to mind right now is why do you think it's so important for parents to meet with that teacher? Because I think you need to build that relationship just as you do with any other relationship in your life. This, this teacher is going to be there for the whole entire time, these first five years that your child is growing. So if you have the relationship with the teacher and you're both on the same team, it's just going to go so much more smoothly. I want to know as a teacher how your child's life was and what your experience was at nighttime. And you want to know what your child's experience was at daytime. We just need to marry that together. We all are on the same team. Um, teachers absolutely love their students. So they need to be able to communicate just as well with that parent as you do in a relationship, say in a marital relationship, you need that communication to get to the same pace in parenting. We need that same communication to be able to have your child thrive during those first, first, first few years of early childhood. Yeah, that's really great. And I, and I think what, as you're saying that it makes me wonder, um, you know, when I was looking for childcare for my son, I went to an in-home daycare and I had all kinds of like, oh my gosh, this is not going to be a good place for him. But I will say, I felt really nervous about asking certain questions. So it sounds like you would come alongside me in helping me recognize like these are actual red flags and maybe I'm right. And maybe I need to figure out those better questions to be asking when I'm talking to the caregivers. Right. And we need to also remember we're paying for this service. So mm -hmm. if we were purchasing anything else, say a car, we would ask all those questions. So why do we as parents feel that we don't have the right to ask those specific questions? I'm here to tell you, you do have the right. And I'm here to give you those questions if perhaps you don't have them and just be able to create a great relationship. I can attest to you being in early childhood. This is what teachers want to. Yeah. This isn't, you're not being a helicopter parent when you, when you're asking questions, you're just trying to align and you're trying to create a win-win on both sides of the fence, what's going on at home and what's happening in your classroom. It's a great thing to be able to just unite like that for the common good. And the common good is our child. Yeah. So Nancy, if somebody's working with you, is it like uh they work with you one time, they pick their child care and then you're done with them or do you? work with them through the ages and stages or what does that look like? Absolutely. So a lot of my clients do come in first time, um, realizing that, you know, once I pick up my child care, I'm good. Maybe not because just as life gives us changes after changes after changes, that happens in early childhood as well. So once your child goes from the infant room to the toddler room, there's a whole new set of dynamics that you want to be able to be in tune with. So it, we can definitely, you can, you know, call me once a year, call me once a month. I have a client that we talk every month because that's how quickly, you know, things change. And she just needs a little bit of support and some confidence knowing that her child is in the right place. We can't do it over. I wish we could. I wish some of the things that happened, you know, that happen or don't happen, we could pull back and do over, but we can't. So let's get it right the first time. Yeah, that's really great. And so Nancy, if someone's looking to find out more about you and your services, where would they be able to find you? Absolutely. You can find me on my website. That's www.insiders with an S view cc.com. Great. And are you on social media? I well? am I'm on all platforms of social media. You can catch me there to get some tips that might help you get through the day. Um, but yes, you can definitely find me there too, but I would definitely recommend hitting my website to be able to get into a lot more specifics about me and what I can offer the community. Nancy, thank you so much. This is really great information to know and understand that like there's support as you're navigating childcare, because that's a big stressor for parents. Absolutely. But before we go, I want to ask you one quick question. What is your best self-care tip that you would share with our community? I have a few, but I'll pick one. Pick um, one. I'll just pick one today. I would say oxygen on first parents. I think that parents need to understand that they need to care mm. for themselves as they're caring for their children. 
everything touches everything. We're all in this together. All aspects of our life involve the next. So just it's it's okay. You have permission to take care of yourself with whatever that looks like. Um, and it's okay to pause. It's okay to pause and not know the answers for a situation that you've never done. If you've never done parenting before, how would you know? So it's okay to pause. It's okay to ask questions. And that's why I absolutely love what PART is doing here is giving parents the opportunity to pause and ask some critical questions. Really great. I love that advice. That's something I share with families, put your oxygen mask on first, so then you can take care of others. Absolutely. I wish that was something that I had really internalized or understood when I had littles. Um, I think it's great wisdom. From I think, I think it's necessary wisdom, honestly, that we need to embrace, you know, we need to understand that date night is just as important as lullabies. Yes, I would agree wholeheartedly. That's a really great tip. Well, thank you again, Nancy. It's been a pleasure learning more about you and what you're doing here with Insiders View Child Care Consulting. And thank you to everyone who's joined us here with Parent Advocacy Resource Team, where we partner with you to navigate the journey of being a family through education, advocacy, empowerment, and connection. Thank you, Nancy. Till next time. Bye, Irene. Thanks for having me.